I've been pickling my veggies and my mind's in a whirl. Oh, sorry, I'm Mrs. Clark, I'm Nobby's old girl. I live with me chooks down Caloundra Way. It's 1944 and the war's here to stay. My young Pete, or Nobby, as they christened the kid, he's a good sort of boy, but like a dustbin lid, if it's not on tight, the rubbish will blow. My young Pete's was not, and he wanted to go and fight in the war, just like his old dad, who was missing in action. My stubborn young lad. I said, what of your asthma that you've had since a boy? Well, he's all I've got left. He's my pride and my joy. How he'd cough and he'd wheeze as the wattle would blow in the spring in our backyard. But no, he wanted to go. He hoped in his heart his old man might be there. But if he's off with those French girls, he'd better beware. You don't know my old Sid with his wide boyish grin and feign and amnesia would not be past him. He'd done it too often in Lansborough Hotel and in the Maruchador public, on our played merry hell. He looked at me all innocent when from two up he'd be skint, and to hide the beer smell, he'd be chewing on mint. I looked at the young face, all earnest and set, and I thought, if I say no, the boy'll just fret. So in that long moment, though filled full of pride, I took off my apron, my hot tears to hide. Get away from me, son. You're making me vexed. Who oh, feed the chooks? I said. His head was erect. Look, ma'am, I can see that you're real mad at me, but if we go under now, who feeds the whole darn country? Well, the plain flower bag had been right near my hand and I swiped at him with it. Couldn't he understand how a woman would care with two men over there? I threw the rolling pin at him. Just missed his ear. But I'll bake him egg custard and I'm making for tea some aeroplane jelly, his favourite, you see. Jacaranda in the yard's got a fresh yellow tie and he's there in the tree by a trick of me eye on the swing in the backyard with his arrow and bow. And I say to myself, where did all those years go? But I'll bake me egg custard and I'll wipe me tears because they say he'll be back soon. It's been nearly three years. They're sending him back because he's missing an arm. There was, the postmaster told me, no cause for alarm. Oh, what, I have cried, will I do with the boy? He'll get under my feet and he's sure to annoy if he can't get his way and get back to the front. But old postmaster Robbins gave merely a grunt. Now Nobby's old girl, you might say, is a tough old piece of leather who don't care enough. But I care till my heart turns itself inside out. Though as a kid, my poor Nobby got many a clout, but only what he deserved. My Sid thought me too tough, but they was never in doubt that I loved him enough. When you left on the home front, it's lonesome at times. I've sewn parachute silk till my eyes are near blind. Oh well, it just doesn't do to let them see you sad, so I'll put on a clean apron to welcome my lad. <laughs>